So in this thousand eyes video, we're going to speak about tests. What are tests? Tests are actually a fundamental part of thousand eyes. They allow you to test assets that your organization owns as well as the SaaS based assets that your organization is subscribed to as well. Tests for cloud and enterprise agents are categorized into layers of operation and we'll take a look at how and what that looks like shortly. We also have tests for the endpoint agents as well, even though these are slightly more limited in a sense and you'll see why as well soon. Um, but these are also again categorized into uh, layers of operation. There's also um, I guess they're not really considered tests, but you know, when you use the endpoint agent, um, there are there also is that that element of network monitoring um, to monitor um, networks. Tests are scheduled from the Thousand Eyes UI or the GUI, and we can uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that when we get into the demonstration. Just looking at the layering down the test, you can see kind of how it's broken down. Um, so we've got the the layers on the top, and it, and this is for the cloud and enterprise based agents as well. And we'll take a look at the uh, endpoint agent after this slide. Um, so on the top, you can see on the layers we've got routing, network, DNS, web, and voice tests. So there's quite a few tests that can be covered. Um, when you actually look at the tests underneath those layers and, and see what what's uh, contained within them and we'll just discuss um, very high level um, some of these tests now um, so when we look at the BGP testing we, uh, the BGP testing monitors the public prefix availability on the internet around the world and it can report back uh, the changes and metrics in general about path changes uh, reachability and uh, BGP updates. Private peering is also a possibility with Thousand Eyes as it can peer with organizations to provide the uh, visibility and metrics related to the private BGP routes as well. Um, so you can, you can, uh, you know, you've got the public um, peering if you like and then you've got the private, the, the private peering uh, metrics that you can look into if you decide to as well. When we look at the network layer tests, these tests are really aimed to measure network performance between either the agent and the target server or agent to agent. So, you know, if you've got multiple agents out there and you want to do a test between the two of them. Um, so this that you know when we when we look at agent to agent that's typically i guess a use case so that would be maybe monitoring uh, or or looking at data between uh, two sites so maybe your campus network and maybe a smaller branch site say for instance uh, maybe mo monitoring the performance there a typical use case really for agent to server tests could be to simply understand you know the path that's taken to reach a destination um and I guess yeah, you know, agent for agent. I mean, we could we could have another test. Uh, let's say, for instance, to measure the performance between uh, the two sites we just mentioned, say campus and branch. If um, you know you wanted to take a look at um, the the performance when using, let's say, for instance, VPN uh, as well, you could you could do that. Agent to server testing can take. Uh, can, can make use of uh, TCP or ICMP protocols and uh, agent to agent testing supports TCP or UDP. Uh, the, the good thing about agent to agent testing as well is that it also supports uh, bi directional testing. So you can uh, test between uh, to and from both of the agents. Network tests can be scheduled to run in intervals and scheduled to run for either minutes or hours. The data correlated for network tests are in depth, useful and displayed in the form of path visualization 
which we will see more of uh, in in the upcoming videos and especially when we get to the uh, demonstrations rather DNS tests um, they're really used to record service performance metrics and validation of DNS servers you know pretty much does what it says on the tin really um, you know but I guess a typical use case could be to monitor the performance and availability of a particular DNS server if that was of interest or you know maybe a set of DNS servers uh, you've also got the DNS trace which helps to ensure any parent DNS zones are correctly pointing requests to authoritative servers and this really gives you the ability to confirm that delegation of DNS uh, records are correctly carried out between parent and uh, child, child zones and then you've got the DNS sec uh, which verifies the digital signatures um, of DNS records allowing you to really validate the authenticity of resource records when we look at the web layer tests these tests really have the ability to uh, test the availability of web servers test performance uh, perform transactions that emulate user activity and even test the performance and availability of FTP servers uh, as well so that's uh, really cool and uh, again we'll see more of that when we get into the demo voice layer tests again pretty much does what it says on, on, on the tin um, but these tests really look at seeing whether a connection can be established uh, using SIP and whether packets are exchanged when uh, you know that session has been established using uh, ITP now when we look at the endpoint test categorization we can see that we've got user sessions and scheduled tests on the on the left hand side and then we've got the test layers broken down into network and web so you can see it's a little bit more limited as opposed to the um, the other agents that we have available so endpoint agents that can record network performance and browser metrics as part of the user session as I mentioned earlier on the, and that's essentially covering the right hand side and this is really useful for remote and hybrid workers as it gives a view into where issues may exist without having to get too much detail from the user especially if um, you know that they're unsure of really where the issue is as well you know, it kind of gives you that visibility the network layer tests allow you to test performance between the endpoint agent and remote server whereas the web layer tests will allow you to measure the availability and performance of an HTTP service um, so you know we've still got some useful tests that can be done using the endpoint agent um, as I say it is, it is more limited but I think that the great thing about this is we get the first stop visibility you know we can see right from the endpoint if there's any issues and you know we can see you know what's going on straight away so that's uh, very good in that sense so the great thing about um, these tests is that we have the ability to nest these tests so many of the tests encompass other tests and it really negates the need to run multiple tests so if we you know take a look at the transaction test there on the left hand side if you was to schedule a transaction test you wouldn't have to uh, also go out and schedule tests for say page page load or HTTP server test or network test or you know even BGP monitoring test because that transaction test is going to cover those tests as well so you know you really st start to see the power of thousand eyes here because all the results of each of those tests are then correlated and it really accelerates the analysis of events and shows how different layers are functioning together uh, so similarly for RTP, SIP, DNS server you can see what sort of tests are also nested if you are to run uh, those tests as well so you know with RTP you've got network test and BGP monitoring test included as well